What is an RV Wi-Fi booster? When traveling in your RV, it can be imperative that your Wi-Fi works, especially if you need to get work done. And as we all know, campground Wi-Fi signal strength isn't always very strong. That's why having an RV Wi-Fi booster can come in handy. So what exactly is it? Well, an RV Wi-Fi booster is just that. It boosts existing Wi-Fi signal into a stronger, faster signal inside your RV. Maybe you're at a campground or you're not far away from where Wi-Fi is, like a Walmart parking lot, for example. An RV Wi-Fi booster works by pulling in that existing Wi-Fi signal with an exterior antenna. It will come inside your RV and then be boosted. That makes it easier for you to connect to that Wi-Fi. This can make previously slow Wi-Fi blazing fast. And if there is no Wi-Fi signal to boost, then a Wi-Fi booster won't work. There has to be a signal for it to work. Here's where it gets confusing. People so often mistake RV Wi-Fi boosters and RV cellular boosters as interchangeable when those two things are very, very different. An RV cellular booster or an RV cell phone booster boosts a cell phone signal coming from a cell tower directly on your phone or your connected device like an iPad. An RV Wi-Fi booster boosts a signal coming from a residential area or a business area like an RV park or a Walmart. So that signal is created within that business or that residence and then you get that signal from either a business or a residence but not from a cell tower. So just as simple as possible, a Wi-Fi booster will boost a signal coming from a residence or a business, and a cell booster will boost a signal coming from a cell tower. Two very different things, and it's important to know the difference. So do Wi-Fi boosters work in campgrounds? Yes, they absolutely do. Campgrounds can be notorious for having a slow internet connection and not reaching the whole park with their main signal. So an RV Wi-Fi booster will search out that Wi-Fi signal, boost it, and pull it inside your RV. Now, there is one important thing to note considering an RV Wi-Fi booster. Sometimes campground internet doesn't work well because too many people are trying to use the signal at the same time. An RV booster won't help you in that instance. It might get you a more robust connection to the local Wi-Fi network, but if a lot of data is being pulled from that network simultaneously, you still might see slow speeds. Some of the best RV Wi-Fi boosters on the market include the Alpha Network Wi-Fi Camp Pro. It's great and relatively inexpensive booster, and it's pretty easy to install yourself. Another option is the WineGuard Connect 2.0, and there are two versions. So this one can boost Wi-Fi and cell signal, or just Wi-Fi. So if you do want a two-in-one where you're boosting that residential or business Wi-Fi network and that cell tower network, get that two-in-one option because you'll get maximum boosting from Wi-Fi and cellular internet. The other great option is the King KF1000 automatic, automatic directional Wi-Fi antenna. This seeks out that Wi-Fi. It will target where the Wi-Fi is coming from and then boost up to 10 times the speeds for better service. Those are the three that we recommend to RVers depending on what your budget is and if you want the RV, Wi-Fi, and cell booster in one unit. So the last question we got is, are Wi-Fi boosters worth the money? In our opinion, if you're working remotely, you need to be connected and you wanna have multiple layers of certainty that you will be connected to the internet, yes, an RV Wi-Fi booster is worth the money. If you're just streaming Netflix or Hulu and you can go a few days without internet, then it probably won't be worth the investment. Keep in mind, if you gotta work, it's pretty much essential. Let us know if you use an RV Wi-Fi booster. That's our overview. Hope it helped. We'll see you next time.